Spectroscopy is an analytical technique used in organic chemistry where you use light and the absorption of light in order to figure out what compounds or functional groups are present in some, some unknown sample. And so the way that it works is you have a light source that's emitting light of a given frequency and wavelength. And some of the light goes directly to a receiver, whereas some other light goes through your sample, through your unknown compound, and then hits the receiver. And what you do is you compare the absorption of the light that passed through the sample, and that tells you information about what was present, whether different functional groups were present, whether the molecules were absorbing the light for certain reasons. And so the next thing to think about is how do we know what's present based upon the light that's absorbed? And so we've set up this table here, and this is a very good way of organizing the many types of spectroscopy, from ultraviolet spectroscopy to visible light spectroscopy, which is just something you pick up with your eyes, to infrared spectroscopy. And these are major different types that all indicate different things about your compound. And so here we have an uh, arrow showing increasing energy. And remember that the energy of a photon, something we learned in physics, the energy is equal to HF, where H is Planck's constant, which is a number you don't need to memorize, and F is the frequency of the light. So as you get to higher energy light, you will have a higher frequency. And that also means, because frequency and wavelength are inversely proportional, that you have a very small wavelength with very high energy light. And so here we're in the gamma ray area, and that has a very small wavelength of less than 200 nanometers. Then we move down to ultraviolet, which is in the 200 to 400 nanometer range. Then you get into the visible light spectrum, which is 390 to 700, or you can say 400 to 700 nanometers. And then you get into the infrared region, which is 700 and above. And each of these wavelengths and energy levels tells us different things about the compound. And so we'll go through this table and we'll talk about what action is being performed by the light in order to be absorbed. And then we'll talk about how to analyze this and draw different conclusions, whether you're doing infrared spectroscopy, ultraviolet spectroscopy, or any of a number of different types of spectroscopy in your organic chemistry classes. Thank you.